Hi, this is Rikilian, and this is video tip number five. Vowels and consonants. We don't even think of them. We're struggling around with the word so much so that these vowels and consonants lay hidden. But in fact, these are our magical things in language. Let's take vowels, for example, the five vowels, A, E, I, O, U. For example, if I were to call out to somebody and use the word H O I Hoi, I could say Hoi, or I could say Hoi, and now you can see how much emotion there is when I inject the emotion into the O. Now, say for example, uh, there's an E there, right? And there's a word that makes up E. I could say uh, E E E triple E. Somebody shows me something that's a little bit sort of yucky. I could say e, or I could say e. You see the difference? So now, if we put some more life and passion into the vowels that we use, then our language comes alive. So the vowels are the emotional part of language. What about the humble consonant? Well, I never used to think much about consonant until some years back. The consonants, of course, are the intellectual part of our language. So you take, for example, the letter B or the letter T. So if you say a bottle, a bottle of milk or a bottle of syrup, if you you could say bottle of syrup, bottle of water, but it lacks it. So with a B, it's usually you shut down on your lips and you explode the sound out. Bottle, bottle. So there you go. Now add it the b o t t l e. Then comes the emotion behind the word bottle. So I'd like you to think a little bit more about consonants because there's also voiced and unvoiced consonants. What's an unvoiced consonant? Unvoiced consonant. The s. The s could be like in snake, snake, snake. So anything that is unvoiced means it. Does not reverberate in our throats, but yet many people miss out on the snake. Snake. There's another little consonant that puts people into all sorts of problems, and that's the V. You know the V. So we say the marriage vows, and a lot of people can't say that. Or we can uh, we can say uh, something is vital, something is vivacious. So notice how I need to press my lips down. And then use my teeth, v v vivacious. So there you have it, vowels and consonants. Use these two, and certainly it's going to make your language and words come alive. This is Ricky Lian from Mindset Media, and of course the topic is always find your voice to find your championship. And if you like what I said today, please put your comments down below. Until the next time, be well. Thank you.